Welcome to the Church on the Air. This afternoon, we are in the dispensation of grace, yes? And God does not come down immediately and begin to strike people for disobeying the word, yes? But we want to look at it. Is it that those who do those things, those who despise the word of God, while we are not like our half-brothers that say, ah, immediately, look for him or her, kill him, finish him, cut off the head. <laughs> Does that give a nonsense to say that you are free? Anybody who does that without repenting is free? The answer is no. They are not free. Hosea 4.6 Hosea 4.6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will reject you. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see, when you don't follow the word of God, you only hurt yourself. You only do yourself. Like me, I just told you. I said, I drink a lot of water and I see a lot of changes. Before, I was not. And it was okay for me because I had no issues. I had no problem. But now that I obey, God said, drink water, a lot of water. And I'm doing it. I'm saying that I see changes. Now, a lot of issues like that, if God is speaking and you are not obeying, you only have yourself to blame because you'll be suffering for it. You'll be suffering for it. For example, again, there are some times I want to do something on the phone and I find out that I've spent a lot of time doing and doing and because I lack knowledge. I don't know about it. I've spent hours sometimes alone, pressing this, doing this, trying this, trying that, doing this. <laughs> but then, one day God said, go, go outside. Go and ask some of those boys. So one of my daughters said, ah, mommy, I want to come and meet you to teach me something. I said, don't come. Just look for some boys in your neighborhood. You see, play with phone. Just go and meet them and ask them questions. Because plenty of questions will be coming in. When you go there, you'll find the answer. In life, plenty of questions will be coming in. You'll be finding a lot of issues that you need answers to. When you don't despise the word, you'll find answer, you'll find light. But when you despise the word, you'll be destroyed. You'll just be roaming about, wasting time, wasting years. A lot of people now have wasted their years. They say, oh, if I had known, I would have given my life earlier on. If I had known, I would have obeyed God earlier on. But now I've lost my money, I've lost my this, I've lost my that. If you read the word, it was in the word that I read, it said, don't do shorty for a stranger, don't do shorty. Before me, I like to help. I know you, I don't know you. I like to help you. I like to sign for you. I like to do it. But when I read that word, don't be shorty, I learned my lesson. Even before some pastor friends came to say, ah, we have members, so this one said, one that I know very old, oh, that marriage scattered because of that. Good family, but they could not recover. What happened? Somebody came. As a member, and before you know it, if every pastor would want his member to grow. And then what did he do? This person wanted to buy moto on credit for to use like Uber. And he stood in for him. He doesn't know where he comes from, he doesn't know his village. Was he just a good member? And he signed. Person carry Uber Moto Waka. That pastor had to pay nothing, nothing. They had to a lot of struggles. So many are in trouble like that because they despise the word. But he had, if he had just followed the instruction that says, don't be shorty, he would have saved himself a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot of young men, if you can just read your Bible, the book of Proverbs say, don't follow prostitutes, don't follow harlots, don't follow all these wayward girls. You would have find peace for yourself. But a lot of you, you didn't give your life, or you gave your life, you say you can change. You can change. One man of God said he can deliver one lady, and he went and married a call girl that did not change, that was not ready to change. He took the grace of God for them to get deliverance, because her powers were more than his power. 
It was not consecrated. Believe God. Yes, God can lead you. But are you strong enough? Did you hear God? Are you Hosea that Hosea said to, to him, go and marry a prostitute. Go. And she will go. You say, go back. You go. You say, go and pick her. Go and take her. You are not. You say, oh, I want a beautiful young lady for first lady. A yo, 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 yo. A this, this, this. Without praying, you can marry from the kingdom of darkness. You will find it easy. The same thing, you young men. The signs are there. The things are there, but because you are not obeying God, you miss it. So this afternoon, when you don't miss, when you don't obey God, you are destroyed. You miss it. He said they perish for lack of knowledge. God says, I will reject you. So those my small friends, the thing that I've been struggling for because I lack knowledge, when I just show them, they just press it, ping, 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 ping. One second is too much. Everything is in place. Hey, is that so? But look at the time I wasted. Look at the time I wasted. Zechariah 7, 11 to 12. Zechariah 7, 11 to 12. They refused to hearken. Therefore came a great wrath. If you don't hear, you will face it. Young girls, we are about to do Valentine now. Close your leg. If you don't close your leg, some of you will go and be born in three places. Twins, one. And the man will continue. The boy will continue his education. He will be stranded. Because they say, give you invitation. Let's go to Mr. Bix. Give him the invitation. Let's go to Sizzlas. Let's go to this. They buy you a gift. In this time, and you refuse to heed the instructions, the warning being given to you. When they further their education, you'll be at home. Oh, it's okay. I want to go and commit abortion. May you not lose your womb. May you not die in the process. You see, we are in a, we are in a generation that is digital. We're in a generation where they know more than us. But I'm still amazed when I see youth girls pregnant. When I see youth girls falling out of school. When I see youth girls not listening. Or youth boys not listening. Listen. You youth, listen. Listen to your mothers. Listen to your fathers. Listen to your teachers and the Lord. They know more than you so that you don't derail. So that you don't waste your life. So that you don't die on timely death. Listen. There is danger if you don't listen. You miss your destinies. You derail. Don't go that way. Those of you looking for blood money, they won't tell you that when you get that money, your loved ones can't eat it. They won't tell you that. Outsiders will enjoy your money, but you're not your loved ones. And you have money, and your loved ones can't eat your money. Of what use is your money? Your mother that gave back to you, so we say, go and bring the mother that suffered for you to make money. They didn't tell you earlier on. They will just take, tell you, it's okay. They will just give you one thing. It's okay. Me, I know they look over from the small way I hear them, they do so. It's okay. If you see the picture, the picture of her, you just took it. They didn't tell you it can be your mother that it is most beloved of you that you want to kill. They didn't tell you that. So don't go that way. Don't go that way. Stay with the scriptures. Stay with the word. Don't despise the word. And when you despise the word, you find out that it can never be well with you. If you like, go and do blood money. If you like, go and do this, go and do that. Watch, the end is not always the best. So you youth, some of you, on my, in my environment, every day we keep giving out invitations. Please, we don't have. But share with us. Please learn a trade. Learn a trade. The year has started now. We are still telling them again. The year has started to run on. Will you allow this year to go like that? They say, Mama, Mama, I'm coming. Mama, Mama, I'm coming. What do you want to learn? Is it tailoring? Is it this? But learn a trade. Don't be satisfied. Riff raff like this moving about. They say, Mama, I'm coming. Mama, don't worry. Mama, we're on top of it. Mama, we are this. And then a lot of you. All those uh, uh, people, uh, um, training people, they say to me that they are in the, those young boys now, they are in Naira Bet. They are just looking for quick money. Ah. Why are you deceived? A man I knew some time back, his shop was very robust, good. Suddenly that shop is getting empty. I was wondering, why is this shop like this? Until one day I get there and discovered coupons. He was doing coupons. He said, you, this is how they are paying money. They are paying money. But do you not know that they will give you a little? When they give you a little, the richest man, the first person that started um, Vegas, 
gambling in, 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 in Vegas. He just died of recent. But his instruction to his relations, his, his friends, is please don't gamble. Don't do gambling. But a lot of you now you are looking for free money. Some children now have lost their education. I know a few who couldn't continue because they used their money to do MM or Naira bet or something. They will double the money for you. Don't do all of those things. Stay with the word. Stay with the word. God says, labor with your hands and he will bless the work of your hands. He didn't say, look for quick, quick money. He said, I'm looking for quick money. And he said, no be money now. No be am. No be money now. You know, statements like that shows that you, all you just want is money by any means, anyhow, any way. Don't do that. Use your hands. There's dignity in labor. And when the money comes, you save. 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 A lot of these market women are doing well. A lot of them. I know them. Who are selling fish with a very big, beautiful house. Before some houses were demolished around us, some of them have houses. Why? Because they were making small, small investments. And at the end of the day, they will take that contribution, buy a land, take that contribution, buy a sewing machine, take that contribution, do something. Do it well. Do it well. I keep telling those that I come across, all those youths around me, I say, look, the monies you make, save them, small, small money. You are paid 3500 a day. You use all, go and eat. When I'm passing by, I used to wonder all these fish, that big, big roasted fish they are doing. I said, who are the people eating this fish? But in the evening, just come outside. Go. In my area, there's a place they call Yellow Page or something. Come and see different, different fish. Everything will disappear. Disappear. And those who do that don't have houses. They don't have anything. Even workmen said they don't have tools. I tell those around me, like we're making some building facility now. I see they say, hey, please, we want to hire drilling machine. We want to hire this. We want to hire that. I say, you, you're a very bad workman. By this time, you're supposed to have your drilling machine. And then you now hire that drilling machine out. They will pay you for the drilling machine, pay you for your job, pay you for your this, pay you for your that. But you just eat away the money, no tools, nothing, nothing. Despising the word. We are saying this afternoon, don't despise the word. Don't despise the word. It will help you. It will help you. Luke 16, 31. Luke 16, 31. He said, if they hear not the word, they will not be persuaded. Do one, do one rose from the dead. If they don't hear the word. This thing we are telling you now, if you refuse and you hacking, you refuse to hack in and you harden your heart. I said to those around me, I said there's what you call boys in the hood, girls in the hood. What does that mean? In a few years time, all these boys and girls that you grew up together. This morning I was outside just before I started this video clip. A youth passed me, I almost didn't recognize him. But he passed through our secondary school, he's changed. A lot of them changed like that, look at them, small, small girls now becoming mothers. Those who did well, those who did well. In this same neighborhood, you see them coming in with beautiful cars. They kept themselves. They didn't get pregnant out of wedlock. They had him to the world. Now they are properly married. They have children and they drive in with their cars. And can you not imagine those other girls that refuse to close their legs? We are talking about Valentine, join this message now. They refuse to close their legs. They now have two children, have children outside wedlock. Nothing, nothing. There's one, the child is highly deformed because she tried to kill that child. The child refused to die. Refused to die. And you know, there are some children like that. You can't kill me. Like me now, so now. Me, you can't kill me. <laughs> some of us are unkillable. <laughs> you know, my parents did family planning on me. I keep telling you that we had 12, 10 surviving, nine pastors. It not be said that all the bomb bomb bomb. No. Like me, so now. The one before me, her name is Najite, Dr. Magdalene Rosu. My mommy and daddy said, It is okay. <laughs> it is okay. Me, they did family planning on me. I came out double, double twins, double. 
<laughs> they couldn't kill me. No killing me. <laughs> so some of those children, it's okay if I get pregnant, I will abort the baby. Some not they agree go. <laughs> this one they try, I'm no agree. The baby came out deformed. They stayed in hospital. The kid refused to die. Refused to die. Stayed. I even went. Gave money to the sisters joy to take care of her. And today that baby is alive. The baby too refused to be on the ground. The baby struggled. You can see now see the baby walking. But he's struggling. But he's walking. Struggling. He's a survivor. But the mother, how far has she gone? While in the hood, some girls are now driving in. The same girls in the neighborhood with panico cars, married. One just got married. The mother knows they serve vegetable again. You go find her, you go see her. She's with the daughter in her house, giving her mother rest. But some of you, no rest. They begin to take care of you, take care of the child outside the wedlock. So to close this message, we are saying, please, listen to the word. Listen to your mother. Listen to your father. Listen to your teachers. Listen. Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. And like we have said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So to close this message, please, the Valentine is a time for love, but the love is for those that are married. If you are not yet married, don't let anybody deceive you. Don't let anybody deceive you. I marry, I marry, I love you, I love you. Don't even let anybody deceive you to say we are engaged. Some people now use that engagement as a as a excuse. I'm engaged to be married. She's my fiance, he's my fiance. Go know your people, you know, go go. Go make go see past some people, you know, go go, because it's my fiance, it's my fiance. Then you small, small girls. You'll be walking about a line people, boys to be touching you. Touching you. What are you telling the world? Who are you? They'll be touching you, rubbing you. Don't do all of those things. Keep yourself pure. Keep yourself pure. Listen to the word. Listen to the word. Don't harden your heart. Are you out there and you do not know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. You don't need anybody to validate you, to tell you you are beautiful, you are this. Look at your mirror and tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am powerfully made. I am unstoppable. I can make it. Growing up, my mom taught us all of those. She said, you don't need a man. You can make it. You can make it. And while some of my mates in the university we were converting, changing for Hollandis and uh, that time, under accord, so I will give you under accord. My mommy said, you can make it. I'm saying to you that you can make it. All this telephone, telephone, you don't need it. You don't need it to belong. Some people, because they gave them phone. They gave them phone. You open your left. To do what? You want to be on social media, small girl. We are going to bring another one on the social media. Also, of you watch what you are posting. It will be used against you years to come. Interview now. They don't, they don't say they want to interview. Did you just give your profile? They just go and tap. Look for you on the Facebook. What are you posting? Who are you? And then you come up, no shirt. You come up, you are smoking. You come up, you are drinking. Doing a lot of bad things on the internet. Then because of phone, you, 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 you open your legs because of phone, you go and stiff because of phone, you do a lot of things. Some of my workers, I look at them, I, I told one one day, I say, come, how much do you aim, he told me. I said, I've observed you. The, the, way you, the time you spent on telephone, even me, I, can, I don't spend it. I don't make calls like that. Next week, hello, 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 hello. On the phone, two for seven, Libra, not even a Messi. Are you out there? Jesus is calling you now. Don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart to say, no, this new generation, this is this. No. A candle. We just, in one of the videos we just made now, David was a youth. And in that wilderness where he loved God, he has spent one of the most beautiful Ode to the scriptures, a special hymn. <laughs> I've described it already in 119, Psalm 119. Go to it, you see it there. Are you out there? It's better to give your life as a youth. When the candle is burning, burning. I told you some time back, I said, 
as a youth, God was calling me. I said, when I marry, <laughs> when I marry. On the day of my marriage, as I entered, like this only me disrupted my wedding. I begin to cry, cry, cry. Because I had God. He said, what if I have killed you before this date? I'm happy to be married, no regrets. But again, I wish, how I wish I knew God earlier on. How I wish I knew God earlier on. I would have done a lot of exploits. I'm still doing, I'm married women, I'm still doing exploits. Don't mistake me. But how I wish, in the youth time, you can do more. But now when you want to fast, the Bible says, except your husband agree, there's something like fasting. You can be fasting, or your fasting is counseled. If your husband says, one, do nothing, go do. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read, you want to preach, you say, go and sit down there. The whole of this week, I've been trying to come up for some time. A lot of messages I prepared, I couldn't come. Because when he said, okay, do this, do that, do this. Even this morning, he said, I've been asked to do some assignments. This time around, I said, no, today must not pass me by. Yesterday passed me. Therefore, I said, why? Because the Bible says that your allegiance will first be to your husband and to your household. But can you imagine if you give your life now that you are a youth? You will get married over before then you would have done exploits. Your candle is like a candle. If you start from youth, your candle will burn full. But if you wait, you say, when I get married, when I, eh. some people say, is it now that you are old? <laughs> Daddy Kumu, you will say, some of you come and serve God, you say, no. Eh, eh, when I retire, you say, when you retire, what, God don't, what, God, what does God need you for? You are sitting on the altar, you are sleeping, you are dozing. Some of those chairs of pastors that they join is to hide a lot of things. So, to hide a lot of things. And you know, in those days, they put the seat of the pastor on the altar. Yeah, but when you are old and you are dozing and you are this, better let's turn the chair. When we turn the chair, <laughs> even if you are dozing on your chair, nobody will be seeing you there. So, you say, when I'm old, it says, who need you when you are old? Now is the time. Don't be like that man, that woman. That song, Shall I go an empty handed? Must I meet my Savior so? Not one soul with, me, with which to meet him. Must I empty handed go? He was dying. And it was on the deathbed that he met the Lord. And his cry was, am I going to go like this? Am I going like this? Nothing to give. No trophy to lay at his feet. Nothing. Use that to give you that to his way. So than just snapping selfie and posting it on Facebook. There is life to be affected. There are destinies to be touched. Some of us say, uh, we are doing end stars. It is good. But where are those to take over? Are you ready? Some time back, it pained me that a few youths that got to the National Assembly, even rising up to the highest, at the end of the day, how did they end? So begin to groom yourself. Begin to work on yourself. Somebody like Obama didn't come overnight. He worked on himself. Even though he's propagating a lot of things that God said don't do. They are the chief proponents. But as of that, he worked on himself. Take time to work on yourself. Take time to give your life for Jesus. Take time to study and be approved. To do that, you know, you repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. If you did that, please give your life to Jesus. If you've given your life to Jesus, find a Bible-believing church. A pastor that believes in the word. We have been on the word, the word, the word. Prophecy is good. But a church that does not emphasize the word, a church that does not stick to the word, a church that is just saying, depend on me for prophecy for this, for that, you're in the wrong place. But the prophecy will confirm the word, and the word will enhance the prophecy. So you must be in a balanced environment, a balanced church that feeds you the word at the same time is in the prophetic. But by the time you know the word for yourself, you find out that the Holy Spirit in you you become your prophet, you'll be directing you, helping you, and you only need to uphold the hand of your pastors and those around, not depending on them for everything. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all.
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed and highly lifted up in the name of Jesus. I'll see if I can take just one more after this and we'll call it a day for this afternoon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for listening. And thank you for taking pains to abide by the word. Abide by the word. Ask for grace. His grace is sufficient. God bless you. Thank you.